Morning everyone. <clears throat> Bit of a grey day today. <coughs> <coughs> Bit of a preamble for this one. I, I spend at least, well, Alan, Owen and me, we, we yak on the phone a couple of times a week and we swap ideas. <coughs> and Alan's just got on to the, uh, the wet in wet, misty looking watercolours. I used to do these all oh, 40 odd years ago when I was really learning and we didn't have uh, all these videos to help us. The books which were quite expensive uh, and we just made our way. Those of us that didn't go to art school that is. Um, and it's about just letting the paint, the, the paint run by changing the, the uh, vertical to the horizontal tipping getting the paint to move in the way you want it to move. And I think um, I'm going to do something similar to Alan. He won't mind, he expects me to do it. <coughs> we do fire off each other, I must say. So what I'll do, I'll give this one a good wet. This is on just the, fab uh, the uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound, cold pressed. If I used a heavier paper, which I don't really, but do have a bit. Uh, 16 by 20 that I use for if I'm demonstrating. This is this is too small to show. Unless the group have got a an overhead and they can project on a screen, but mostly they don't. So we'll just let that soak in for a little while. Well we'll see what we can make of it. That's a very easy way of painting, it doesn't always go right. But um, we'll have some fun with it, I think. So, so let's get a bit of a bit of paint spray. I, oh no, I'm going to put in a bit of alizarin, a bit of alizarin, and a bit of cajello. Uh, And then we'll uh, get a bit of cloud colour. I saw a beautiful sky yesterday. The sun was just setting over the uh, distant houses. Oh, it was glorious. So we'll have a bit of, bit of uh, ultramarine and a bit of Payne's grey. I was thinking about using black, but I haven't got black, I don't think. So we'll just get a bit of a little in that. So. to chill right now, just undo it. I've changed the easel from my box easel to uh, to this Frank Herring easel which is a, oops, which is a little bit uh, So now we've we've got the paint running down, and we'll put in. No, uh, oh, this is just a flat. Put in some uh, distant colour. Just drop it in. A bit darker than that. Paint's grey, bit of ultramarine. We clip this. Right, okay. We can add to this. I used to, 
I'm going to put a bit of foreground, but I'm going to probably use a bit of sponge over it. Now there's some more distant ones here. Oh, I guess some darker. I'll we'll have a look at this one. Or I'll email a, an advanced copy of it to see what he thinks. But I'm going to add a little bit of detail in this one. Norfolk. Norfolk Broads. Now you can see what's happening. See, like the, the water's sort of flowing that way. Uh, Let's just put a little bit of uh, stuff in the foreground here. It's a bit of, bit of brown, bit of... Oh, we've got to make sure we're going horizontal. I hope my head's not in the way. Well, we'll put a bit of thicker stuff in. Did the bike ride yesterday. Uh, I've done three times I've done it in the last eight days. It's only 12 miles there and back, but uh, for us uh, in advancing years, it's good to keep a bit fit. Uh, so a bit more. I did one of these, I remember, we, when we had a camping trailer years ago, like a folding camper. We towed it up to St Neots, and it's on a river, and I can't remember the name of the river for the moment. An absolutely lovely river, it might have been the Stour, I don't know. A number of rivers called the Stour, I think, in England. But very lovely. And, I and the misty morning, it was in October, we'd only just bought this trailer. Uh, it was on a camping and caravanning club site, St Neots. And it was misty, and, and looking across the river, with all these stands of trees, the, uh, all no leaves, they'd fallen. Um, and there was just that mist, and I, I tried to paint it, but I didn't 
really had the uh, the knowledge at the time nor the practice so I did it in oil paints as well but I, but I always like this style of painting but I don't do it because well we do other things but Alan's given me the idea so blame him for this I know most of them watch Alan could do it with uh, three colours I think with the indigo uh, I, um, I just lift a little, little bit of this out. Right, I think I could give that a try now. So take your headphones off. Um, this, uh, oops, get it clean. Okay, now uh, let's take a sponge, a little sponge, give it a wet. It's not an actual sponge, it's just a, a, uh, a, a domestic, uh, well I don't know, it doesn't look uh, as if it's a natural sponge does it? But I don't think it is, I think it's a synthetic one. Now we'll get a little bit of a... Um, Bit of, bit of grassy stuff in the foreground, it'll just anchor because there wouldn't be any mist down here. Just looking over the bank, it's a bit of a burnt umber. a bit of Payne's, Payne's Grey in there. Oh, just the corner of that sponge, save rigour. Okay, that'll do for that. Let's uh, put the sponge in there, get a rigour. And just carefully Put in some uh, bit of detail.
we haven't got really enough of that reflection, but it's okay, you put a couple of birds in. I mean, these are really easy. As Alan says, it's not really painting. Okay, I'll sign it. Or you could just, uh, just vary. Do a lot of them and just vary the colours. I might go back to do a th three colour one. Well, this is basically three colours, isn't it? But I like this, but not a lot of detail in that. Uh, I'll put it in a mount. So let's. Uh, where's my masking tape? I've lost a lot of tape, would you believe it? Oh no, I can see it. <coughs> I like this easel, it's the, uh, did I mention it before, Frank Herring easel, the metal one, <coughs> tubular, steel. Um, I've had it for a long time, a friend gave it to me when she packed up painting or surplus to requirements. I don't use it often because with my other setup I've, I can put and make a table and put my paints on and show you how I'm doing. I have to hold the palette here but uh, Anyway, let's put this on. Now I know when I used to do these they were quite popular. I did sell some. But you see how with, with a minimum of effort you can create a painting. Get that one there. Alright. Uh, Well, there we are. So a little Norfolk scene, Norfolk broads. Can't see the windmill because it's behind the trees. Uh, there we are. I'm going, to, I'm going to experiment with this and join Alan <coughs> and see where we go. Uh, I do like a bit of uh, foreground, but with a little bit of illusion of detail. Some bits and pieces in there. But not so overwhelming that it takes or detracts from this this um, lovely effect there. Well, I hope you like that one folks, I'll get it uploaded and see what you think. Bye for now.